Spotify. Now lets anyone embed a podcast or an episode. The last time we checked this, the audio only played for 30 seconds. It now plays the whole lot with no sign-in required. You'll find a link to find out more in our episode notes and our newsletter today. TuneIn has launched Pod Club, a podcast series designed to give listeners a new way to discover favourite podcasts from some of the most well-known and respected podcasters. Should your podcast have a trailer? Dan Meisner from Pacific Content analyses the data. Here's a spoiler. Why, yes, it should. Crunchbase has looked at podcasting investment in 2019. Jonathan Gill from Backtracks is quoted in the article saying that remaining gaps, content monetization and deep analytics, and even the discovery of a podcast that is interesting in the first place in the podcasting space, are opportunities for startups. Swedish podcast studio Storytelling has received an undisclosed amount of investment from media company Co-Made Stockholm. Simplecast write about SEO and PDO for podcasting. What's PDO? It's podcast directory optimization, of course. Keep up, Grandad. Arts Club suggests that the Australian podcast landscape is growing. Hollywood Reporter reports on a panel at a TV production conference over the weekend called Power of Podcasts, the trend of bringing podcasts to life via TV and film. In Swiss German, Podcatcher does a full review of the desktop Apple Podcasts app. One interesting feature is called Smart Speed. It looks just to be variable speed playback, but it is something that iTunes lacked. And how are would-be democratic presidential candidates using podcasts to get their message home? We link to a piece of analysis from PodDB.